Okay, uh, this is what I'm looking at in the Aussie dollar right now. Uh, here's a quick first glance at it. Let me show you how I drew things in. Delete everything else off there. So I was looking at my 20 minute chart, which of course is a mess, but it's got all the extra overload of information that I want to see. Uh, here we got some down sloping moving averages. We know we're coming down into this area that we're thinking of buying. Why do we think it's going down there? Because oftentimes when we have a nice trend going like this, the retraces will uh, work around these Fibonacci numbers from both sides. So we're kind of looking for the backside of this uh, Fibonacci one to one on the daily chart. So and since we're we have this nice breakdown of this coil, nice thrust. This has uh, some potential to uh, to continue continue going to the downside, and maybe with a little acceleration on the news at around uh, 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 ten o'clock Eastern. That could actually uh, fill us on our profit target. And this is going to be a small trade. We risk just a little bit to get a lot. Now, so why do we want to get in here? Again, there's another Fibonacci. Uh, a reversal. Zoom through it here, hit it from the backside. Down sloping moving averages breaking down out of this range. It doesn't mean that we're going down forever, but we do have some potential right now to uh, to go further to the downside. Now, first thing we're going to have to get through is this one to one right here, which also corresponds to our our frequency. So we really kind of want to see some thrust that might get us down into this area uh, a little bit more quickly, maybe on the news or in the European session. So let's look at it and draw it. How, how did I draw it in? I'm going to take this last swing from this low to this high and just draw a channel. And we like the way that we have touches here and touches here. Uh, what we want right now is we want our order right here at, uh, at one more retest of this line, uh, right about 59.60. And we're really going to use that as a stop at 70 because we've got this nice down sloping pattern if it just zooms back up and takes it out, takes us out well it was 10 pips why do, why else do we like this line well let's copy it over a little bit and see who what and see what we liked in the past or if we didn't like it in the past if we copy it over like this we can see that this frequency is important so we drew it here but we also if we back test it a little bit, we get touches here, 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 and here. So that lets us know that that frequency has something going for it. Where do we want to take our money? Well, I like taking money at the median line. So let's draw in a fairly conservative one. Do we like this median line? Yes, we have uh, touches here, here, touches here on the handle, kind of uh, filling in this corner here. So our target would be right there with walking it down right into that same uh, f uh, daily Fibonacci area that we're thinking may find some more support. So that's it. Uh, I had celery test here. Down sloping, down sloping pink line that we've shown to have good frequency with meaning. And a very small stop, 11 pips or so, take it down to here, try to get about 50 out of it. Uh, that's about as scalpy as I get, 40, for 40 or 50 pips if I see a really microscopic stop that's going with the current flow of the market. Okay, thanks for listening.